Hey everyone, what is going on? And welcome back to the Great Slash Master League. We could do either one, Master League, Master League Classic, or the Great League. I think most players will probably opt for the Great League. I'm kind of leaning towards starting with the Master League Classic, and then maybe I'll go over to Great League. I don't know. But, uh... Yeah, we're taking a look at this team. It is a pretty standard team. I mean, Reggie Steele uh, isn't seen much nowadays because of the nerf in the Great League, but it's still a pretty good Pokemon. It's still a really good Pokemon, actually, with the standard moveset. Then you have Pelipper, one of my favorite Great League Pokemon, and Sableye, of course, is an amazing one. So, uh, okay, picking up a good matchup with Reggie Steele. The only thing is, if Victor Bell double shields, it actually wins this matchup. So uh, it's going to have to shield this Flash Cannon if it wants to win the matchup. And it might. We'll have to say uh, they probably do double shield this, but we'll see. So Reggie's still going for this Flash Cannon. Yeah, we do see a double shield. So it's going to be able to farm it down and take that win. So yeah, even though Reggie Steel is resisting the Razor Leafs and the Razor Leafs were nerfed and Reggie Steel is a really bulky Pokemon, it's still going to Take it out. That's how strong Razor, Razor Leaf Shadow Victor Bell is, right? Uh, so anyway, they switch out into uh, Pelo uh No, into a Zoomel, not into Pelipper. Uh, they switch into a Zoomel. Going to be hit with this Hurricane, but will we see a shield? Oh no, both shields are down. No, we will not see a shield. Uh, so we're going to switch out into Sableye. Okay, so as long as there's no play rough. This could be a play rough. We'll have to see a shield coming out, not wanting to risk the play rough. Uh, totally respecting play rough. Hydro Pump would have done a lot as well, so definitely totally understand that shield. Can the Sableye farm down? Not going to chance farming down, but it does have a foul play and it's on its way towards a return. So we'll have to see. Foul play will be enough to KO that Azumel. Uh, and what is coming in? Going to be that Victor Bell. So another foul play coming out. Definitely enough to KO at this range, no doubt about it. Shadow Victor Bell is so squishy, so it does go down. And the final one, going to be an Alolan Marowak. Can the Sableye get to another foul play? It is able to go for this foul play. Going to do massive amounts of damage. Still has a Pelipper in the back. So this foul play almost actually even KOs. And then just trying to Shadow Claw it. No, switching and wing attacking it down. <laughs> so really well played. Really well done. Um, yeah, that was a great game. Obviously, yeah, you lost the lead in the beginning, but taking both shields is really huge. So sometimes, a lot of times, actually, taking shield advantage, especially if it's two shields, that is huge. Okay, so going up against a Vigoros, going to safe swap into Pelipper. It looks like that's this uh, trainer's safe switch, which I do like it. I do think it's the, one of the best safe switches in the game, to be honest, at the moment. Obviously, Electric will totally destroy Pelipper, but most... Electric types are usually Galvantula, and most of them are in the lead, or maybe Alolan Raichu, but again, I see them in the lead most of the time. Sometimes there's a Lantern hiding in the back, but not most of the time. So most of the time, it's a great swap. Uh, so, another attack coming in from this Umbreon. Umbreon is such a tank, so Pelipper will go ahead and shield this up. Going to be that foul play, of course. And going to continue to charge up, has a lot of energy, going straight for the nuke, going for Hurricane. I like this play. This is going to do a lot of damage. It won't be enough to KO. And no shield from that. Umbreon cannot get to another Weather Ball. Unfortunate. But uh, will we see the shield? We do see the shield. Wanting to maybe try and win Switch. Going to be difficult. Uh, because that Umbreon needs one more foul play. So the Weather Ball coming out. Honestly, I think Umbreon actually lives this. But it, it could shield and get to the foul play. It is going to shield. Okay, maybe it didn't live that. But the foul play is coming out, and this will be enough to KO the Pelipper regardless. So Umbreon will take Switch. We'll have to see uh, how that plays out. So going to go ahead and bring in Sableye. Do we see an aggressive farm down with Shadow Claw? It is resisted. Umbreon so tanky. I don't know if we can. I mean, this Umbreon is going to get off attacks if we see a farm down. But it might be worth it. We'll see. Uh, it might be. Oh, I Gonna be, definitely gonna be hit, yeah, gonna go ahead and go for the foul play, yeah. That, that farm down was too much, too much to ask for. So gonna go ahead and go for this foul play, that will be enough to KO. We know it's coming in, well, we don't know what's coming in. There's two Pokemon available in the back. So it looks like, oh, their own Sableye, okay, their own Sableye. So charging up a lot of energy, going for foul play, going for the neutral attack. This is gonna do a good amount of damage, but it's not enough to KO. And are we going to see a switch? No, able to go for another foul play? Is that Sableye? That opposing Sableye must be farming up. For, they must have been farming up for something. Maybe trying to farm down. There's no way they were going to be able to farm down. So in comes Registeel. Registeel, yes, it's going to be hit with a Bulldoze. But it's going to be able to get the Focus Blast. Here comes the Bulldoze. It's not going to be enough to KO. Registeel is a tank. And Bulldoze, not the greatest move in the game. So... 
Okay, it does okay damage. This Focus Blast is coming out. I actually think he's going to win this. I thought he was in trouble, but I think he's going to win. Focus Blast. Oh, that KO. Okay, to be fair, I didn't think it would KO. I thought it would get it very low, and then I thought I still thought he would win. But that was able to KO and take that game. Holy cow. Bad lead, right? We saw the bad lead, but still able to capitalize off of it. Uh, so, okay, picking up a, a fantastic lead. You love to see it. Reggie Steel into Tropius. It doesn't matter if it's Air Slash or Razor Leaf. This one has Air Slash. Uh, yeah, I mean, the Flash Cannons are going to be neutral damage. Uh, obviously, everything coming from that Tropius is going to be resisted. So, great matchup. Leaf Blade, not going to do much at all. Going to go ahead and go for the Flash Cannon. Did charge up a little bit of extra energy. And this Flash Cannon is two Flash Cannons enough to KO. It looks like it will be. Maybe. Maybe, but we do see a switch into Sableye and out comes Pelipa. Okay, so very interesting. Pelipa is out in the fight now. So we're going to go ahead and shield this one up. This is probably a foul play. Yep, definitely a foul play. Makes sense. So uh, Pelipa is charging up, going for the weather ball. By the way, guys, this trainer has a YouTube channel, so I will leave a link in the description down below. If you want to go ahead, show him some love, give him some support, I totally recommend doing so. Uh, so another weather ball coming out from this Pelipa. So... Yeah, I mean, these Weather Balls, so, Weather Ball is so fast and so good, taking both shields from the Sableye. Pelipa is going to go ahead and shield this. Both trainers wanting to win Switch. Uh, I think, I think Pelipa is going to get to the Weather Ball. Oh, not if the lag comes out. Okay, able to, still able to get to the Weather Ball. And is this enough to KO that Sableye? It's going to be close. I, I want to say it's enough. I want to say it's enough. Yeah, it's enough to KO that Sableye. Sableye, not that tanky. And now in comes Tropius. Tropius taking super effective damage as well. This Leaf Blade is going to be enough to KO the Pelipa. Pelipa is such a good Pokemon. It's so such a safe switch. I love it. So in comes Registeel. And okay, we see an Umbreon. So Umbreon's going to be hit with a super effective Focus Blast. This is definitely not enough to KO Umbreon, but it's still going to do a lot of damage. As you can see, over 50%, trying to get to another one, will be able to get to another one. Actually, just going straight Flash Cannon. Uh, I think the play to do do is probably go for the Focus Blast, because this is not going to KO. Uh, so, yeah, you're not going to be able to KO that and lock on. Oh, maybe you could lock on down. Uh, actually, maybe not, because I feel like that Umbreon gets to another foul play. Uh, if you try to lock on down, we'll see. Yeah, another foul play coming out. That's okay. Maybe he thought Flash Cannon was going to KO. No problem there. So foul play will get it low. Switching into Sableye. Trying to farm down. Should be able to farm down. Yeah, able to farm down just before the Umbreon got off a move. And in comes Tropius. Okay, so obviously it didn't matter. Still able to win that game. Uh, so really well done. Really well played. And let's go ahead and move on to the next game. See how the next game plays out. Okay, here we go. So it's going to be that Reggie Steel into Stunfisk. Obviously a terrible matchup. You got to get out into Pelipper. No, it looks like he stayed in. Maybe going for the Focus Blast and then switching. Uh, maybe trying to catch an Earthquake. Oh, go okay, going for the Focus Blast. So Focus Blast, I guess you could stay in this matchup for a little bit, but obviously you can't take an Earthquake. So going for the Focus Blast and no shield in comes to Pelipper. Now, I don't know if that Pelipper was able to catch an Earthquake. It's kind of hard to tell because of that lag. They did catch an Earthquake. Beautiful switch. I loved that play. I think I would have switched out right away, but I loved... Because you could stay in for a little bit, right? Because they still need to get to the Earthquake. And Mudshot is not doing a lot of damage, even though it's super effective. So going for Focus Blast and then switching was a good play. So this is going to be Rock Slide. Pelipper will go ahead and shield this up. Can the Pelipper farm down, though, is the question. I am curious if it's going to be able to farm down. No, we see a switch, actually, into Drift Blim. Okay, so Drift Blim. Oh, can he get to a Hurricane? No, the Icy Wind. This is definitely Icy Wind. I believe this was only four Hex Attacks, so it should be Icy Wind. It is. It's not enough to KO, so Pelipper is definitely going to go for this Hurricane, I think. Yeah, going for the Hurricane, because if you remember, Pelipper was debuffed, so might as well go for the hardest hitting move. Uh, still going to do a lot of damage. Look at that damage. I didn't think they would shield. Bring in Sableye to Shadow Claw down. You'll love to see it. What is going to come in? Toxic Croak. Okay. Okay. Going to... Are we going to see a return? No, going to see a foul play, but the Toxic Croak gets off a move. This is going to be Mud Bomb. Not a real reason to shield. And yeah, I, th I think the play is to go for the foul play, which we see here. And if you get a shield, maybe go for the return. We'll see exactly what this trainer decides to do. Oh, we don't see a shield, so that means just go for another foul play. Uh, going to go for the foul play now. And this obviously has to get the shield. So the opponent called the bait, but... You know, it still did a lot of damage. Actually, Toxic Croak just goes down. They're saving the shield for 
I don't know. Maybe they gave up because uh, that Stunfisk had no energy, <laughs> or no energy plus no health. So really great game. Well, really well, well played set. Really well played set. Nice team as well. Reggie Steel still has a lot of play, even though uh, it's not. You know, it was nerfed s several seasons ago. It still has quite a bit of play. Uh, so okay, Hypno is going to switch out into Metacham, and out comes Pelipper. So Pelipper doing super effective damage with the wing attack. So what attack is this going to be? Is it going to be Psychic? No, going to be Ice Punch. Okay, Ice Punch. Pelipper able to take that. So Pelipper is charging up for Hurricane. Definitely going for the Weather Ball. I like this play. Going for the Weather Ball right now. So this Weather Ball is going to get the shield. No, not going get, to get the shield. Going for the other Weather Ball. I like this. So let's say they do shield. Then Pelipper can farm down. It might have to invest a shield of its own though. They do shield. Okay, so Metacham should get to a move. But Pelipper will, has to invest the shield if it wants to win Switch. We'll have to see. They are going to invest the shield, and then Pelipper can farm down this uh, Metacham. Should be able to before the other Ice Punch. Pretty close, but was able to farm down. And what is going to come in now? So, yeah, Pelipper a lot of times, not every time, but a lot of times wins uh, the safe swap and everything. I love it. So, we have the ball coming out. You guys know I love Pelipper if you watch my streams when I stream Great League. Okay, going for the weather ball. Not going to get the shield. Pelipper does go down. Reggie Steel is coming in. Now... Because that Hypno switched out immediately, it tells me it probably doesn't have Focus Blast. Obviously, that's not 100% true. I mean, it could, but chances are it doesn't since it switched out right away. So, what came in? Scrafty. Okay, so Scrafty is taking super effective damage from this Focus Blast. Going to be doing a lot of damage, hitting super hard. And what do you do? Go for Focus Blast and switch out? Yeah, it looks like he's switching out. Able to catch the move. This is definitely a power-up punch, no doubt about it. Beautiful switch. Uh, yep, going to be power-up punch. And this uh, Sableye trying to get to the return. trying to get, Yeah, definitely trying to get to return. Going to be able to get to it because even a foul play doesn't KO. But the Sableye will go ahead and shield this one up. So going to be that foul play. And okay, out comes the return. So return is going to be doing a tremendous amount of damage. We know how powerful it is. So return coming out. Doing a lot. Oh my gosh, that did a lot of damage. So just trying to farm down. Able to do so. Yeah, this game should be over, right? In comes uh, Hypno. Hypno's going to be hit with a foul play. Uh, does the opponent still have a shield? I, I don't remember. But uh, this foul play coming out. Nope, they do not. And Shadow Claw will be able to take out that Hypno. Very well done. Able to take that game. But that was a great set. Nice team. And thank you so much for the submissions. I really do appreciate that. And that looked like a 5-0. So that was very impressive. And I really do appreciate it. Let's see what Pokemon he gets. Um... Okay, going to be a poly world, guaranteed XLs, so that's always nice to see. Uh, anyway, that will be it for this one, guys. I'm going to see you in the next video, and keep on submitting the, that content to me. I really do appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Have a good night. Bye.